This segment is brought to you by the Kansas Soybean Commission. The Soybean Checkoff, progress powered by Kansas farmers. Welcome back to Farm Factor and the Kansas Soybean Update. This is the Kansas Soybean Update. It's brought to you by the Kansas Soybean Commission. The Soybean Checkoff, progress powered by Kansas farmers. Carrie Weefald, Marketing Director with the Kansas Department of Agriculture, joins us. And Carrie, the month of March is here, and as traditionally done, we celebrate it as Kansas Agriculture Month. March is such an exciting time for our agriculture community across the state. And our ag organizations from region to region, whether north, south, east, west, come together to really recognize and celebrate the abundance that is provided in our communities by the sector of agriculture. This month, we celebrate with a variety of activities. And then we will also take time on Ag Day, which is actually March 20th, to celebrate agriculture food for life, which is this year's theme. And you had mentioned activities throughout the month. That included earlier in the month a ceremony with Governor Collier. We met with Governor Collier, and he represented and kicked off Ag Month with us at the Harvester's Food Bank in Topeka. Harvester's partners with Dillon's Food Stores across the state to provide our neighbor-to-neighbor food drive. And that's in partnership with the three major food banks that service the entire state. And the Second Harvest and then Kansas Food Bank out of Wichita and then Harvester's, the Community Food Network. We know about 45% of our state's economy comes from agriculture. We export about $3.5 billion worth of commodities. But we also know that we have hunger in our community and what better way to support and promote agriculture and food than to host our neighbor to neighbor food drive that runs through Dillon stores across the state through the entire month of March. And there are also things uh, throughout the state that you'll be doing as well. On March 20th, which is again Ag Day, we will celebrate and take the Agriculture Food for Life theme in partnership with our ag organizations across the state to the Capitol in Topeka and work with legislators and better educate about the agriculture industry, also about the economic impact for 105 counties in terms of how agriculture plays such a vital part in communities across the state. We also have resources available online. We'll have 4-H clubs and FFA chapters out advocating in their communities. If anyone is interested, we certainly encourage them to visit the Department of Agriculture website because we have a wealth of resources and other organizations that support and promote and prepare resources for members across our state and maybe some of our neighboring states around as well to advocate for the positives of agriculture in our communities. Carrie, we appreciate your time. Thank you very much. Thank you. And thank you all for taking a moment to celebrate agriculture and to just be proud of the industry that we get to work in and promote on a daily basis. That's Carrie Weefald, Marketing Director with the Kansas Department of Agriculture, who joins us on the Kansas Soybean Update. It's brought to you by the Kansas Soybean Commission. The Soybean Checkoff, progress powered by Kansas farmers. Learn more at kansassoybeans.org. For Kansas Soybeans, I'm Greg Akagi. Hope you enjoyed this week's Kansas Soybean Update. Stay with us after the break for more with Dwayne Taves, reporting from Commodity Classic in Anaheim, California. What if U.S. soybean oil were an industry sensation? If end users started asking for it by name? That future is here, the time is now. To meet customer demands, the Soybean Checkoff is investing in varieties that produce oil with increased functionality. A message from the Kansas Soybean Commission, the Soybean Checkoff, progress powered by Kansas farmers.